Welcome. We're doing another tier list today. We're doing a tier list of the Balamori cast, beloved TV show, full of national treasures and rich characters. Let's delve in. Okay. We have our cast of characters, our mischievous lot, the residents of Balamori. We're going to start with Spencer the Painter. Sus. Not a race thing either before you all start. Um, he's painting on a canvas, like an artist, if you will, uh, in the opening credits, but he's running around dressed like a painter decorator. I don't like it. He's the only American there. He's obviously fled his home country for a reason, probably drug-related. Again, not racial. I just don't understand why. And if he's had all to do with the paint jobs of the houses in Balamori, he's definitely on crack. Again, not a race thing. D. Edie McCready. Everyone's favourite bus driver. Now, they've all got... I don't know how much you've watched Barrel Mori, but they've all got intro songs. And Edie McCready's bangs hard. If you haven't seen it, uh, just YouTube that. You won't be disappointed. Step inside. Step inside. But then, on her intro songs, she goes, she's been everywhere to all these exotic places. Um... So I guess that's why she doesn't have a husband. Just Edie. So I'm going to put her B. She's a well-travelled woman, a very likeable woman, and she's got a banger of an intro song. Oh, shit, I forgot to mention, for Spencer, the actor who plays Spencer the Painter in real life, his daughter's a porn star. Right, next up, we've got Archie, the inventor. Um, Again... I don't, I don't really know where to start with Archie because you call him an inventor, but he's making bits out of yogurt pot and string, you know, and he lives in a castle. So I don't know what's going on there. Right, I've got one of his in la latest inventions here. So um, you tell me he's an inventor after watching this. Park will be ideal for my flashing yellow warning light. I'll just glue it on. Archie! Right here, Edie. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? Come and see. Fuck off! What do you think of my latest invention? The what? yogurt pot bulldozer. Well, it looks great. What does it do? I use it to help me build sandcastles. <gasps> Look, I'll show you. Just scoop up the sand in the yogurt pot like this. Turn it over, and then, ta-da! Genius. One sandcastle. <laughs> oh, that's great! Edie absolutely loves it, bless her. She obviously doesn't get out much. But God knows who's paying for fucking castle. Well, that's what I really want to know. So I'll put him as C, just because he's a bit of a poser. You can't flaunt yourself as an inventor and then stick a yoghurt pot to a toy car. You just can't do it. Disgusting. Everyone's favourite nursery teacher next, Miss Hooley. Now, Miss Hooley seems to be the only one who has a job in this society, by having everyone's kids, while they're off fucking sticking yoghurt pots to shit and painting houses pink. So she's actually the only one who's contributing, and she's always the one who's putting up with everyone else's bollocks. Penny, Penny Pocket, and we'll go on to her in a minute. I watched one the other day. Um, you know, Penny Pocket's prepping for a radio station. Who are they moaning to? Miss Hooley. Everyone comes to her with these problems, you know, and, and they know what to do with her. She's just trying to run a fucking nursery for crying out loud. Leave her alone. She's going top tier because she's got to put up with all this shit from all of you. Josie Jump. Another fucking idiot. Her, she's the exercise one. So her main job is going round doing star jumps in a tracksuit. I've never seen her sweating. I've never seen her um, grunt as she squats 50 kilograms aside. I mean, look at this. This picture is damning enough. She's fucking scranning ice cream. Another poser with Archie. At least Edie drives, and to be fair to him, at least Spencer paints. I just don't know what he is. That's why he's in D. There's a lot of suspicion around him. Again, not a race thing. Okay, we've got Pocket and Sweets here. They run the store, aptly named Pocket and Sweets in Balamori. Um, a bit of a haberdashery, you know. Never confirmed, but I've always strongly believed that they were lesbian lovers, and that she was actually in a wheelchair down to an unfortunate dildo incident. I don't know if I can leave that in. But uh, I've pulled another clip. You tell me they're not lesbians. Treat it as your friend. My friend? It's a banana. We're only practising. Seems like you've had enough practice. Ah! 
You know what I'm saying? But I like them. I like them quite a lot as characters. So I'm going to put them... Well, they haven't done all wrong. They're just not as... They're not Miss Hooli tier. So, hey, you know, they're at least they're fucking getting up and doing something. Unlike this next cunt, PC Plum. The only police enforcement in Balamori by the looks of things. I'm going to have to calm myself down because I hate him so much. Um, I watched one the other day where the big investigation was he was looking into a leak. A leaky roof at the nursery. And this is taxpayers' fucking money. And it takes him, like, a full 20-minute episode to solve something that I could guess in the first minute. D. And that's the story in Balamori today. <laughs> God. I know this is going to be a little bit niche and probably not do so well. Um, but I wanted to do this one just for those who know what I'm talking about at all. My two favourite things are niche and quiche Lorraine. I love both those things. Stay tuned and big up yourself. Nothing channel. Wicked. Nothing, cha nothing channel. Wicked. I don't like that. I'll have to change that. I need a sign off. We'll work on it. Thanks for watching. Go on. Treat yourself to another. Aye. Oh,